Hello, my name is Rickard, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a LUT in Photoshop and then use that LUT in Lightroom. I was trying to figure out how to import a profile into Lightroom, and I didn't find any easy reference on how to do it. So after doing a bit of research and figuring out how to do it, I figured I'd put together a short video on how you can do that. If you'd like to follow along, I have included the assets that I used in the description of this video. It also includes five pre-made profiles that you can pull into Lightroom. I'm gonna show you how to do that toward the end of this video. Now the workflow is you create a LUT in Photoshop and then in Camera Raw, you assign that LUT to a profile and then that profile is what you can use in Camera Raw or in Lightroom as a profile or a preset for your image. So I'm gonna show you all those steps. Let's get started. All right, let's go to File Open. I'm gonna open the Profile Sample. This is a Camera Raw file. So it's gonna open in Camera Raw. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna change this to Adobe RGB. I wanna make sure it's on 8-bit and this is not checked. Open in Photoshop a smart object and then we'll hit open. Okay, and the way you create a LUT in Photoshop is you have a background layer, which is gonna be called background and is locked. Now, if you don't have a background layer and you just have a layer like this, you can go to layer, new, background from layer and create a background layer. It's important. You have to have a background layer to create a LUT. Next, you're gonna add adjustment layers on top of this. Um, in this case, I wanna take this and turn it more into kind of a magical fall photo rather than this more summer photo. So let's go to hue saturation. What I wanna do here is I wanna target the greens and make them kind of a magenta color. Now you'll notice almost nothing changed. And that's because this area is more in the yellows. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this and just drag this until we get mostly red in here. I wanna make sure we don't get any of the skin tone. So right about there, but you'll notice that it's clipping. So we need to spread these two apart, this and this. So I'm just gonna take this back and kinda of get a little bit of that clipping out of there. Okay, good. So there I'm primarily affecting the background, not so much her, and we can adjust this if we'd like. Something like this I think looks good. All right, next I'm gonna add a curves layer, and with this we'll just do some more color grading, maybe go to the blues, um, add some blue to the shadows, add some yellow to the highlights. That's always a nice color grade. Maybe a little bit of green to the highlights as well and a little magenta to the shadows, and then do the same here. Just add a little bit of red to the highlights and a little bit of cyan to the shadows. So I think that looks pretty good. Maybe pull up the bottom of our curve just a little bit. So here, if I option click on the eyeball, I can see a before and after. I think that looks pretty nice. Okay, so next we're gonna to go to File, Export, Color Lookup Tables. And here we can call this Summer to Fall. I'm gonna leave all the defaults and hit OK. And then we'll save this and I'll call this Summer to Fall as well. Okay, so we've now created the LUT and what we need to do is create a profile. To do that, we're gonna go into Camera Raw. So let's go ahead, turn off those layers select our background and then go to camera raw and under camera raw in the edit section you have this profile you can see that here if i click on this it's going to bring up my options my profiles these are the ones that come with camera raw so i want to create a new one now there isn't a button in camera raw to create a profile that is hidden here so here you have create, pre create preset. If I open this up, I can create a preset. I'm gonna hit cancel. And when I select this menu item, I'm gonna hold down the option key. 
Now you can see I have a different dialog. This one is create profile. Here I'm going to write summer to fall. I'm going to leave all this to the default and just click on color table here and then select my summer to fall cube file, which I just created in Photoshop and then hit OK. Now, if I go back here and then click again, you'll see it's added this user profiles. If I select that, you can see that it's added those corrections just with this profile. I can hit OK and you can see those have been applied to my image. OK, now because Camera Raw is the same engine that Lightroom uses to develop photos, when I go and open Lightroom, and I'm just going to drag this into Lightroom, I'll hit Import, and if I go to the Develop tab here and go to my Profiles and scroll to the bottom here, you'll have Summer to Fall. I can select that. I can increase the intensity of it or decrease the intensity of it. And the beautiful thing about this is it sits on top of everything. I can still make corrections here. I can still increase the exposure, increase the contrast. I can adjust the texture. I can do all these things and it'll do it on top of that profile. The one thing that you will have to keep in mind is that when you work in this tab here, the color, um, it's affecting the original colors of the image, not the colors of the profile. So for example, if I go to saturation here and pump up the red, you'll see nothing happens. But I know that most of this information in the original file is in the green and yellow. So if I go to green and pump up the saturation, you'll notice my red's getting more saturated and the same if I pump up my yellow. So that's the one thing to uh, think about when you're doing a profile. Most of the elements in Lightroom sit on top of the profile. However, the color does sit underneath it in terms like if you were to view it as a layer stack. Okay, so let's go ahead and there's one other thing I want to show you here. I'm just going to go ahead and reset this. So let's reset that. Okay, the one other thing I want to show you is if you have profiles and you want to add them in to Lightroom. So if I go here, you would think going to import profiles would be the way to do this, but that's not actually how you add profiles into Lightroom. The way to do it is to go to Preferences and then under the Presets tab here, click on Show Lightroom Develop Presets. That's going to open your finder or your browser to the folder in Camera Raw where your settings are. And you can see this is the one we created in Camera Raw. I'm going to go ahead and open our Tutorial Assets folder here. And here I have some Nucle sample profiles. I'm going to go ahead and drag those into this folder and then go back into Lightroom quit Lightroom and then reopen it. Now if I go to profiles you'll see I have these additional profiles loaded in here and I can select any of these if I want to. So there you go that's how you create a LUT in Photoshop, how you turn it into a profile and then how you can import and use those profiles inside of Lightroom. Hopefully you learned something from this tutorial that you can uh, use in your own projects. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment. I do try to read them all. Share this video, turn on notifications, do all that good stuff. And here's some other videos you can check out. And I'll see you next time.